Hey dear, welcome back to the world of cross-dressing stories. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now, let's dive into the story. The clock struck midnight on the eve of May, marking the beginning of a month that held the promise of something extraordinary. As Ellie, sitting in the cozy living room of our suburban home, I couldn't help but feel a mixture of excitement and nervous anticipation. My 62nd birthday was just around the corner, and little did I know, my wife had a surprise that would turn an ordinary birthday into an unforgettable adventure. Ellie, I have something special planned for your birthday this year, my wife announced one evening, her eyes twinkling with mischief and love. We're going to have a shopping day out, just the two of us, as two girls, and you, my dear, can pick out anything your heart desires. Clothes, shoes, handbags, anything. The sheer thought of spending an entire day embracing my true self in public filled my heart with indescribable joy. For years, I had embraced my identity as Ellie in the privacy of our home, occasionally venturing out but never quite like this. Really? I managed to say, my voice a mix of disbelief and excitement. Yes, really, she laughed. And I know just what you need first, a new wig. Your old one has seen better days, hasn't it? She was right. My beloved wig had aged gracefully. But it was time for something new, something that truly matched the woman I had grown into. We decided to visit the Australian Wig Company on the upcoming Saturday. I was elated at the thought of choosing a wig that would enhance Ellie's appearance, making her feel even more beautiful and confident. However, life, as it often does, threw us a curveball. The weekend before our planned outing, my wife fell terribly ill. It was COVID-19, and it hit her hard. Despite her weakening condition, she mustered the strength to assure me, I'm coming with you, Ellie. We planned this together, and I'm not letting you go alone. Her determination was as heartwarming as it was concerning. But you need to rest, I insisted, my worry for her health clashing with my desire for our shared experience. No, I'll wear a mask and keep my distance. Don't worry about me. Let's focus on making your day special, she replied her voice firm yet gentle. And so with our roles temporarily reversed, her the one needing care and me, usually the more reserved, stepping up to ensure we both stayed safe. We prepared for what was meant to be a simple shopping trip, but was shaping up to be a profound journey of love, support, and self-expression. As I laid out my favorite red skirt suit the night before, ready to be Ellie in full bloom, I couldn't help but feel grateful grateful for a partner who embraced my cross-dressing, turning what could have been just another birthday into a celebration of who I truly am. This wasn't just about a new wig. It was about being seen and loved for every part of me. Despite the challenges posed by my wife's recent bout with illness, we found ourselves parking in front of the Australian Wig Company early Saturday morning. The sun was just beginning to paint the sky in hues of orange and pink, a perfect backdrop for what was destined to be a transformative day. My heart fluttered with anticipation and a touch of anxiety as I adjusted my favorite red skirt suit, feeling every bit the part of Ellie, poised and ready to embrace the world outside. As we entered the salon, the staff greeted us with warm smiles and an air of understanding that immediately put us at ease. Welcome Ellie and Mrs. Ellie, one of the attendants joked leading us through the bustling main floor to a more secluded area at the back. Here, we were shown into a private room, an intimate space with plush chairs and an array of beautiful wigs displayed like artworks on the walls. The VIP treatment was more than I had imagined. It wasn't just about buying a wig, it was about celebrating identity. My wife, despite wearing her mask and looking visibly pale, smiled at me with such pride and joy. It was a moment of unspoken love and acceptance that filled the room with warmth. I began trying on various wigs under the guidance of a compassionate stylist who seemed to understand the significance of each choice. Each wig I tried on brought out a different facet of Ellie, from bold and flamboyant to subtle and demure. However, it was the first wig that caught my attention the most. It was similar to my old one, but with a touch of extra length that framed my face beautifully softening my features and adding an elegant flair. That's the one, my wife said, her voice a mixture of excitement and a hint of fatigue. It's perfect for you, Ellie. It's you, just a little bit more fabulous. Her approval was all I needed. 
As she made the purchase, I could see the toll the day was taking on her, yet she pushed through, determined to make this day about more than her illness, about us, about me. With the new wig nestled in a box and our spirits high, we decided on a whim to stop for groceries on our way home. The idea of walking through a supermarket dressed as Ellie felt both daunting and exhilarating. But today, bolstered by the normalcy of the experience at the wig salon and the supportive presence of my wife, I felt ready to face the world. Stepping into the grocery store, I was acutely aware of every gaze, half expecting whispers or stares, but they never came. Instead, we were just two women going about our day. My wife leaned over at one point and whispered, see, just another shopping trip. It was liberating. Each aisle we walked down, each item we picked up, added to my confidence. I was doing mundane tasks, yet it felt like a grand adventure, each moment affirming my identity more than the last. As we loaded our groceries into the car, I felt a mix of exhaustion and elation. The day had been more than just about getting a new wig or filling our pantry. It had been about stepping out into the world as my true self, with my wife by my side, turning a simple outing into a profound statement of existence and acceptance. The morning of my birthday dawned clear and bright, a fresh start to what would be one of the most memorable days of my life. As I woke up, nestled in the comfort of our home, the nerves were palpable. Today wasn't just any birthday. It was a celebration of Ellie in all her fullness out in the world. Despite a lingering adverse reaction from COVID, my skin was still sensitive and marked with dry, flaky patches. I was determined to look my best. I chose a casual yet elegant outfit, a soft blue summer dress that flowed gently to my knees, paired with comfortable sandals. The dress was perfect for a day of shopping, but also made a subtle, stylish statement. As I applied my makeup with careful, gentle strokes, avoiding aggravating my sensitive skin, I couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and apprehension. Would the public be accepting? Could I navigate the day without discomfort? My wife, ever the pillar of strength and encouragement, assured me with a simple, you look beautiful, Ellie, as she adjusted her own attire, ready to stand by me. Dish come what may. Hand in hand, we stepped out of our safe haven and into the bustling world outside. The drive to the local shopping district was quiet, each of us lost in our thoughts, the car filled with a tense yet hopeful energy. Our first stop was her favorite clothes shop, and as we entered, the staff greeted us with a cheery, good morning, ladies. The warmth in their voices washed away some of my fears, and I felt a swell of pride and relief. Throughout the morning, we visited several stores. In each, the kindness and normalcy of the interactions bolstered my confidence. I was not just Ellie in disguise. I was Ellie, a woman out enjoying her birthday with her wife. I tried on dresses and accessories, reveling in the joy of each piece that accentuated my style and persona. My wife, meanwhile, found herself drawn to various items for herself. A pair of elegant pants here, a chic top there. It was unexpected. The day was supposed to be about me, yet here she was, shopping enthusiastically. As she handed another blouse to the cashier, she caught my puzzled look and smiled. It's not just about the buying, Ellie. It's about enjoying the day, about us being here together like this. That's the best gift. Her words struck a chord within me. The day was indeed more about the experience, the shared moments, the support, the public acknowledgement of my identity, than about any material purchases. Each store we left, I carried with me not just bags of clothes, but a heart a little fuller, a spirit a little brighter. The culmination of our shopping brought us to a quaint cafe, where over cups of coffee, we reflected on the day. How are you feeling? She asked, her eyes searching mine for any sign of regret. I'm happy, I replied, my voice steady and sure, truly happy. It was the truth. The day, with all its small victories and shared smiles, had been a profound affirmation of who I was, and more importantly, of our journey together. As we drove home, the trunk of our car filled with bags and our hearts filled with contentment, I realized that this birthday was not just about turning a year older, but about celebrating a lifetime of slowly, bravely becoming myself. With my wife by my side, each step felt a little less daunting and a lot more like coming home. The afternoon sun cast a warm glow over the bustling streets as we made our way into an upscale department store, the kind of place that promised not just goods, but an experience. The air inside was cool and fragrant, 
filled with the subtle scents of perfumes and polished floors. As we meandered through the aisles, my eyes were drawn to a display of delicate lace lingerie. The softness of the fabric, the intricate designs, it all spoke of a femininity that I had come to embrace fully within myself. With a mixture of excitement and a slight tremble of nervousness, I picked up a beautiful lace bra and panties set, its fabric soft and inviting, promising comfort and a gentle caress against the skin. As I held it up against me, checking the fit and imagining how it would look and feel, my wife watched with a tender smile, her eyes reflecting a mix of pride and affection. It looks perfect, Ellie, she said, her voice warm and encouraging. Purchasing the set felt like a rite of passage, a symbol of acceptance and validation of my identity as Ellie. It wasn't just lace, it was a piece of me, intricately woven and beautifully complex. Later, as the shadows grew longer, we found ourselves in a quaint coffee shop, a little nook away from the hustle of the city. Over two steaming cups of coffee, amidst the soft hum of background chatter and the clink of spoons against ceramic, my wife reached across the table, taking my hand in hers. You know, she began, her voice soft yet clear in the quiet of our conversation, I enjoy these days with you as Ellie more than anything. It's like shopping with a friend who truly understands. Her words washed over me like a soothing balm. Here was my wife, the woman who had stood by me through every step of my journey. Now sharing that she found joy in my happiness, in my truest self-expression, it was more than I could have hoped for. Really? I asked, a lump forming in my throat as the weight of her words sank in. Really, she confirmed, squeezing my hand gently. It's different, fun, and just special. I love seeing you happy, love seeing you be you. As we sipped our coffee, letting the reality of her heartfelt admission weave its way between us, I felt our bond deepening, solidifying in a way that transcended the usual contours of a married life. We were not just husband and wife, we were companions on a journey of discovery and acceptance. Energized by our conversation and the affirmations we shared, we decided to extend our day a little longer. A visit to the direct factory outlet near Perth Airport was next. The outlet was a sprawling complex filled with opportunities for more discoveries. We wandered through more shops, our earlier purchases swinging in small bags at our sides. Each store brought new trials and triumphs, each moment together building on the foundation of our deepened connection. As we drove home later that evening, the car filled with the quiet contentment of a day well spent, I felt a profound gratitude. Today had not only been a celebration of a birthday, but a celebration of us, of Ellie, and of the beautiful tapestry of life we were weaving together. Every glance, every word, every shared laugh had stitched us closer, and I knew without a doubt that today had changed us for the better, forever. As we pulled into the driveway of our home, the last light of the day was fading, casting soft shadows across the familiar facade. The sense of returning to a sanctuary, to our own sacred space, brought a wave of relief mixed with a sweet melancholy that the day was ending. We were exhausted, the kind of deep fatigue that comes from a day replete with emotions and activities, yet there was an undeniable elation humming through our veins. Once inside, we kicked off our shoes and settled into the comfort of the living room. My wife fetched a bottle of wine, a fine red that we had been saving for a special occasion. As the cork popped and the rich aroma filled the air, we both smiled, a silent acknowledgement that today had indeed been special. Pouring the wine into two glasses, we clinked them gently, the sound crisp in the quiet of our home. To Ellie, my wife toasted, her eyes sparkling with affection and pride. To us, I added, feeling the warmth of the wine mirror the warmth in my heart. As we sipped our wine, nestled on our cozy sofa, my wife turned to me, her expression thoughtful. I loved today, she began, her voice soft but filled with emotion. I loved seeing you so happy, so yourself. I think we should do this more often, don't you think? Just let Ellie out and about, exploring and enjoying. Her words, so simple yet so profound, struck a chord within me. The joy of today had not been a solitary experience. It had been shared, multiplied, and savored together. I would love that, I replied, my voice thick with emotion. Today has been one of the best days of my life. Being Ellie with you, feeling accepted and free, it's something I want to experience over and over again. We sat there for a while just reflecting on the day. 
It was not just about the clothes, the makeup, or even the shopping. It was about the freedom to be myself, the acceptance and love I felt not only from my wife, but from the world around us, albeit just for a day. It made me realize that life, even at 62, still held beautiful surprises. The world was changing, and perhaps, just perhaps, there was more room in it for someone like me than I had ever dared to hope. As the night drew to a close, I felt a profound connection not just to my wife but to myself, to Ellie. The fears that had shadowed parts of my life seemed less daunting now. The future, once a static continuation of the everyday, now sparkled with potential for new adventures, for more days like today. Laying my head on her shoulder, I felt an overwhelming gratitude for the love and courage that filled our home. Thank you, I whispered, not just for the day, but for her unwavering support, for the journey she had embarked on with me, for the future we would continue to shape together. Tomorrow held no guarantees, but it shimmered with possibilities, and with her by my side, I was ready to meet it head on, as Ellie as myself, more fully than ever before.